David's back with us now. The weather looks great for the convention, but we have <laughs> some storms to get through tonight. So. It'll be hard to beat. Cooler than normal next week. Lots of sunshine for the big DNC, but we do have pretty active weather out there starting right now. So let's get you caught up. A few low clouds here in the city. Nothing more than a few sprinkles, though, for most of us on radar right now. Overnight tonight, though, we're still on track for the possibility of strong to severe storms, especially south of Chicago between midnight and 4 a.m. Tomorrow, unfortunately, another round of strong storms, and it may enter interfere with some of your evening and nighttime plans. Severe thunderstorm watch only for LaSalle County, where conditions are currently best to produce damaging storms. We do have one little storm out there near Ottawa that's producing lightning and small hail. Now, this is no coincidence that it's developing right there. None of us got that warm today, so the atmosphere doesn't have that much energy. But in Ottawa and southwestward, temperatures are slightly warmer, and we do have slightly more moisture in the atmosphere. So that's why we're thinking that the worst weather tonight stays along and and south of I-80. That's just where the atmosphere can support it. Still, though, the atmosphere can't support what is going on out there in Iowa. They've had a lot of heat and humidity today, firing off a big complex of severe storms. These are the ones that are going to clip our southern tier of counties tonight, but they may be decaying a little bit as they do so. A second round of storms tomorrow evening comes from this piece of disturbance in the atmosphere up in Fargo, North Dakota. So really for tonight and tomorrow evening, and I think tomorrow evening might have a slightly higher threat. Here is what we're facing. An isolated tornado possible, very unlikely tonight. Wind damage, the main concern, and a couple instances of hail also not out of the question. Here's the latest high resolution data, doing a good job with what we expect tonight. A couple isolated thunderstorms firing west of Chicago the next couple hours. By midnight, though, Grundy County and LaSalle County may have strong to severe storms rolling through. Kankakee, look at that, 2 a.m., big storms for you. Newton and Jasper counties, especially south of Gary and Valparaiso, this is when we have severe weather between about 3 and 4 a.m. Notice, even if we don't have damaging storms in Chicago northward, we too will have some rain and thunderstorms during the overnight period. Then we wash our hands of round one. Tomorrow morning, we've got sunshine coming out on our long range model, and tomorrow looks hot and humid through much of the day. It's not until later in the afternoon and evening in McHenry and Lake counties first, then the rest of us, a few strong to severe storms roll through. These again could have some wind damage blasting through Chicago around 8, 9 p.m. tomorrow tomorrow evening. So lots to keep you posted on the next couple days. Tonight, a weather alert for scattered storms. The strongest will stay south of Chicago, we think. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy late after a hot, humid day with a few strong storms developing. Seven day forecast has a 60% likelihood of some storms tomorrow. Unfortunately, another 60% likelihood of at least some passing non severe rain on Saturday. Sunday's outdoor plans look a little safer before the lovely weather settles in for the convention next week. Chamber of Commerce weather, I believe, is what Spectacular. they call it. Right? Right. Thanks, David. <laughs>